Okay, so whenever you're in your opponent's guard, a lot of times uh, people are afraid to actually move because they don't want to get swept. They don't want to be caught in any type of reversal. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when it comes down to a sweep, there's actually two parts to a sweep. One is when they knock you over. But then the other part of that sweep is whenever they hold you, control you, and then get on top of you. So the second part is oftentimes the part that people surrender to that they don't really have to. This is called a hip switch, and we're gonna use an extended scissor here. I have Jake helping me out with this. So what ends up happening is Jake's gonna do an extended scissor sweep. Now as he knocks, as he knocks me over, what I don't want to happen is I don't want to surrender at this point and let my back go flat on the mat. Then for sure he's gonna get a top position. So once I hit, this is where I landed. Now my right leg is up, that's actually my bottom leg. So if I can sit up a little bit and then from this point, switch my hips back. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my bottom leg trying to elevate as much as I can, which is only probably an inch, but then kicking my bottom leg back. Then getting back up and keeping my elbows in as I get back to a top position. And what I've done is I've got compromised, got knocked over, but I didn't surrender the guard. I switched my hips and that gives me a chance to get back on top of my opponent. The techniques go much deeper than this. To find out more information and to dig deeper into the truth, Please stay tuned to the Jiu-Jitsu Revolution.